Hey guys, welcome to the video. I just wanted to quickly say before we get into this video, welcome to all my new subscribers. Hi, my name is Val, nice to meet you. My only birthday wish is that you guys like the video. Please give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Stay tuned to the end because one of my best friends made this super hilarious parody video. Um, which will be linked below. So stay tuned to the end if you want to see some donuts with my friend Randy. I drove 20 minutes to come to Dairy King. Dairy no, um, Burger King, but it doesn't open for another 55 minutes. So, in case you didn't get the memo, today is my birthday. I am turning 28 years old today. Yes, so I'm doing a cheat day for my birthday. I'm gonna enjoy as much food as I want. We'll see where that takes me. Right now, it's taken me to uh, the grocery store because Burger King is closed and that's what I really, really wanted for breakfast. Today is also an interesting day because it's March 24th. Today is the last day in Ontario before Doug Ford closes all the essential service or all the non-essential services in Ontario. So I've been extremely diligent in my social isolation. Is that what's called? Social distancing and self-isolation. I don't know when these places Places are gonna open up again so I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to enjoy whatever I can while it's open I'm gonna go get toilet paper I have four rolls left and I feel like they might still have some in there I saw some walking out with one so I'm just gonna go grab some toilet paper okay I got the goods <laughs> oh my god my oldest sister has down syndrome and she uses like toilet paper like crazy but for normal people not that she's not normal but for normal people why the f are you buying so much toilet paper first things first <laughs> so before dairy king opens Dairy, why do I keep saying Dairy King? 25 minutes before Burger King even opens. These were on sale. We're gonna start with some chocolate chip cookie sandwiches. Never had these before, so I love like cookie dough type things. So I'm hoping that this will be cookie dough-ish. Probably have a few. I might even have all of them because I don't want them to melt. Ooh, it actually looks better than I was anticipating. This is pretty good. I would buy this again for sure. Mm -hmm. mm. Today is gonna be delicious. Okay, I also got, I've never tried these before either. So fudge covered Oreos. I'm sure a lot of you have already had these and you already have your own opinion on them. I love Oreos, love, love, love Oreos. So these are good. I am a fan. I just don't think the fudge actually makes the Oreo taste better, but it's good. Like if you like chocolate, you'll like this. Oh, uh -oh. I don't really like chocolate too much and I actually like these, so. Oreos are actually one of the few things that are like chocolate flavored that I actually like. today I don't know when restaurants are gonna be open again back to the ice cream oh. I'm definitely gonna finish these ice cream sandwiches 
they're melting, so there's no way they're gonna make it to my house without being a hot mess. Bon appetit. Add six of these. I'm not really like doing a calorie challenge or anything, but I am gonna track my calories today just to kind of see. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just curious. Um, so I'm using my fitness pal. It's just an app that I always use to track my calories. Where's the barcode? Yeah, you can just easily scan and then track it like that. So I had four of the sandwiches and then what else did I have? And six of those, so three. So, so far, <laughs> it's my birthday, so I really don't fucking care. And I'm just gonna eat whatever I want, but I've had 1,400, 14, 1,450 calories so far. And it is now nine o'clock, so the Burger King drive-thru should be open. So yeah, we're gonna head to Burger King and get some breakfast items from there. You was here before, right? Me? Yeah. No. Oh yeah, like when it was closed? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Now they know me as the person who waited an hour for Burger King. God, that's embarrassing. I don't want to be known for that. Uh, there we go. Thank you so much. No Have a good day. Cool. <laughs> Okay, we have the goods. Okay, I'm just gonna check these because I don't trust people with my. I got this egg and cheese croissant, which. So I got two of these, two egg and cheese croissant, which is, and then French toast sticks because those are so good. Last time I got three French toast sticks. Today I got five. Love their French toast sticks. Mm. Oh my god. Sometimes I just don't appreciate savory food as much as I should. Mm. Oh my god. I've had that before, but that was a lot better than I remember it being the first time. Holy crap. And then I got five piece French toast sticks. Genius. Genius. Okay. Mm mm mm. They're so good. I specifically only wanted to go to Burger King for breakfast for these French toast sticks. They're just too good. Last one. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, this lighting. Okay, I'm gonna have to move. Okay, that's better. We have our last croissant, which they were two for five, and I was feeling under pressure by that guy to order two. <laughs> so that's okay, because I really like the first one more than I thought I would. You already know. My gosh, so good. Add that into my fitness pal. So adding Burger King French toast sticks with syrup. Five pieces is 500 calories. Uh, Burger King croissant, which egg and cheese, perfect. 280 calories for one, so two is 560. So that puts me at 2,510 calories so far. <laughs> Mom, happy birthday, beautiful girl. I'd come give you a hug, but I'm self-isolating. Crazy, but I'm not really that full. 
Ugh, okay, I think I'm gonna go to another destination on the way home. Is it possible to get a, uh, um, a McGriddle with just egg and cheese? Yeah, with okay. no meat. Yeah, with no meat, just the McGriddle. And then could I get two hash browns? And an uh, orange juice. I think it's gonna be 955 in your first window. Okay, thank you. Hello. Hi, thank you so hey, much. You're welcome. See you later. Have a good day. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I have never in my life had a McGriddle. So I thought, why not stop at McDonald's before God knows when, when they'll all be closed and. Let's just get this done and over with and then I can decide whether McGriddles are the best thing ever like everyone else apparently thinks or, you know, whether they're just overpriced. That looks really good. My first ever McGriddle. Hmm. My mouth is really confused right now. Honestly, I don't really like this as much as the croissant which I just had. It's just weird. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure the sweet goes better with meat, but with just egg and cheese, it's just weird. Hmm. Sorry, but just not a fan. <laughs> Had to get some McDonald's hash browns. These things are so good. For calories, add that. Two hash browns, egg and cheese. What is that called? Egg and cheese McGriddle. Sorry. <laughs> I know a lot of people love the McGriddle. Like I said, maybe it's because I don't eat meat that it's just not good to me, but 390 calories. Oh. A sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle is 550 calories. Oh, holy shit. I don't know what size this is, but I don't think it's a small. Medium, I guess? I'm just gonna put medium. Okay, that puts us at 3,400 calories. I guess I'll see you for my next meal whenever that may be. two bottles of wine. My boyfriend is coming over with pizza, so I think we're good to go. Now we commence the 45 minute walk home. Yeah, the struggle has been real since the gym closed. I have been so lazy, so decided to actually walk today, get my butt out of my bed. Hopefully by the time I get home, Kyle will be on the way with some pizza, so we're in for a good night. Came. We're gonna watch a movie and eat pizza. You mentioned. <laughs> so cute. Middle piece. Oh. 
baby, baby, are you seeing this, boss? It's baby. That's good. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they actually found that picture. Isn't this based on a true story? Well, Titanic obviously is a true story. I just don't know how much of it they added to the movie. Mm -hmm. Best birthday supper ever. Very good. Welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Valerie, and uh, first thing I'm gonna do is pump some iron today, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do all the gym things and legs. Yeah. All right, cheat day, darling, donut. Bali. All right, I'm gonna eat more than a human should ever eat. Sriracha on deck. This is a pomegranate and lychee. Mmm, you see that? Um, so this place is handcrafted donuts by Balinese people. They make it out of a brioche dough, they said. So let's try it. Mmm, the donut's really good. It's very citrusy. That is some dough. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yes. Look at that beauty. I mean, in typical Val fashion. I'm gonna eat this in three bites. I definitely ate that whole thing because I have a bottomless pit of a stomach. Looks like cinnamon sugar. It's called a cheesecake bomb. <laughs> I'm definitely not starting to feel full because I'm Val and I can eat all the donuts. I'm not uncomfortable at all. <laughs> I definitely don't want to stop. Oh. It tastes like Turkish delight. I hate rose water. I can't eat that. That's disgusting. Ugh. Last donut. Do you see that? It's a hard sugar crust. It's creme brulee but it's stuffed with a high, like um, a Thai chai latte. No, not Thai, where are I? Bali. It's a Bali chai flavor cream. Ooh. There's like, you can see the little dark bits. I'm guessing that's like actually from the tea leaves. It is like Thai, or chai tea. That's amazing. Amazing. I'm not full at all. I ate that whole donut with my mad editing techniques. You didn't see me put that part down. Last bite. Cheers. Let's see what I eat next. Thank you guys so so much um i honestly had a great birthday we had cake with kyle's family on different days so it's not like i was completely alone on my birthday although i couldn't see my friends because of this social isolation but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching thank you for all the love until next time bye guys i love you so much